When she walks into the room, all eyes observe the way her dress conforms to every luscious curve. Who's that thrilling force of nature no mere man could dare possess? Just that crazy chick in a sequin mermaid dress. Tries to get her in a clinch Is quick to learn She'll never give an inch It's a vicious twist of fate The men should whimper and obsess For that crazy chick in a sequin mermaid dress Somewhere in her past She did adore a guy Who ran off with her heart inside a box So she transformed herself into a Lorelei who lures all scholars, dudes and jocks to crash and burn upon those rocks and now it's only toys that share her bed because her love has put an echo in her head but whether mistress to the devil or a damsel in distress she's that crazy chick in a sequin mermaid dress she's that cuckoo chick She's that wigged out chick She's that crazy chick in a sequin mermaid dress You've got to climb Mount Everest to reach the Valley of the Dolls. It's a brutal climb to reach that peak, especially in heels. My mother, Lorelei Daly, had started her climb 30 years ago on this very stage when she was crowned Miss Texas Gal 1969. All right, gentlemen. Since then, she had become a self-appointed beauty expert. She could turn a sow's ear into a silk purse. All she needed were sequins, the right twirl, and a set of batons. I think y'all can identify with that. How about a Martian? <laughs> How about a Miss Texas 1906? <laughs> but even Lorelei had to admit that the Miss Texas Tierra Quest was not your ordinary beauty pageant. What else do you want to see me twirl? After all, the talent portion consisted of John Wayne movie quotes. Oh, don't make me open up a can of whoop-ass. I'm sorry! <laughs> then again, as long as I could remember, nothing Lorelei had ever done was ordinary, including how we came to be back here in Paris, Texas. We had left Texas 10 years ago in the middle of the night in my mother's boyfriend Lyle's Winnebago. When asked why, all Lorelai would say is, Texas and this Texas gal are just not meant to be. Then again, Lorelai was always quoting someone or saying things. Her favorite source of reference was Valley of the Dolls. Sparkle time. And she was always telling people that she intended to live her life as if she were a heroine in a Jackie Suzanne novel dressed in sequins and consumed by tragedy. Well, she finally got her chance the day I found the letter. Sleeping Beauty! Hi, Mermit. My name's Corrine Daly. I was born in the summer of 76. My father's identity is a big secret. All Lorelai will say is he's famous and that we shouldn't bother him. Where? Corinne Daly, you know, if there was a housekeeping category in those beauty pageants you do, I swear you'd never get anywhere. I mean, look at these gowns, Missy. I mean, it looks like a couple of Vegas showgirls had a cat fight out It was there. a typical oh, morning in her house. Lorelai would down. bitch and moan at me, reminding me that there were plenty of starving Ethiopian children who'd love to wear pretty dresses. And I'd ignore her until her Valium kicked in. Oh, never mind, honey. Someday we'll have a maid. Mm -hmm. In a big house, maybe on a coffee plantation, somewhere in South America. You know, like Miss Elizabeth Taylor did in that film. What was that movie? Corinne, darling, do you remember the name of that film? You know, the one where Miss Elizabeth Taylor fainted in nearly every scene, you know, because it was too hot and her husband was ignoring her womanly needs? Maybe it wasn't a coffee plantation. Let me think, let me think. You know, I read somewhere that in France, 
women have been very successful at de-aging using acupuncture. What do you think? I don't think I'd like to have needles that close to my eyes. Well, they say the eyes are the window to the soul. What do you think? Think I need to have my window frames done? Lorelai had been the pride of the Lone Star State. At 15, she was Texas's answer to Anne Margaret and had even been scouted by Hollywood to try out for an Elvis movie, but never liked to talk about it. Fran, we're out of coffee. Want a tab? You know, I can understand why Miss Joan Crawford's children had a bizarre fear of wire clothes hangers, but I am stumped here. If I was you, I wouldn't be waiting for me to ask you to get up again, Missy. Now get because she was born in Paris, Texas, Lorelai chose French as her second language. Most people just thought she was from Canada. Hey! hey. I need this place clean this afternoon. I'm having company coming. Not law is a welfare day, really. That is real nice. For your information, Miss Smartmouth, Lyle is only on disability since he fell off that stage in Buffalo last year. Now, Corinne, hurry up. Your faux mother of pearl tiara is growing faux barnacles. It's so filthy. Okay, so you can see where my life is at. I won my first tiara at six months old. 24 years later, I had 250 of them to clean. Don't get me wrong, Lorelai wasn't a bad mother. She just felt that giving birth to me had ruined her chances of ever looking good in a swimsuit again. Hey, 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 where's that smile? I expect you to act like a perfect lady at your graduation. I can't believe you're not coming to my graduation ceremony. No, oh, I can't believe how many beer cans a girl can hide under a sofa cushion. Now get over there and help me. I was saving them for recycling. You were saving them for your mama to clean up. Now, for your information, I cannot attend your graduation from Miss Bi Ambrose's Beauty Academy because I have a PTA ladies lunch and fashion show to coordinate. I didn't realize it at the time. But that piece of crumpled pink paper I'd found in the trash would change our lives forever. Unless, of course, you have any objections to eating till you get a job. You know I can't work while I'm the current Miss June Harvest. They take away my title, and then people would think I was involved in some sex scandal and I'd be ridden out of town. Anyway, you know I'm going to retire from competition just as soon as I've saved enough money and go to Hollywood and do makeup for big Hollywood stars like Miss Vi Ambrose did. Well, I see we've both got our priorities. Mine is to support your talent as a multi-titled beauty queen, and yours is to throw me away like a bucket of smelly mop water while you pluck unwanted hair from movie stars. And don't you roll your eyes at me, Missy. I swear one of these mornings you're gonna wake up cross-eyed. Whenever I mentioned going to Hollywood, Lorelai would go nuts. But I couldn't spend my life as Lorelai's pageant assistant. No, I had dreams. Big dreams. And somehow, this letter was my chance. You're always mocking Miss Vi Ambrose. And I've told you a thousand times, she invented Kim Novak's eyebrows. And she taught me all her secrets. Cause I'm her favorite student. Oh, secrets, secrets. Now those big stars wax or pluck anymore. It's all done with lasers. NASA developed them. I'm still her favorite student. And besides, I've just got to get to Hollywood. They'll show up plenty of eyebrows up on that big screen and need my special plug -in. And if I can't get them, I'm just going to die. I, honestly, Corinne Daly, you are such a big baby. Oh, I, you know, I can't have this conversation anymore. You know, I mean, nobody dies from not getting to go to Hollywood. Well, then I guess I'll be the first. Oh, that is very nice. Well, just don't die this month, all right? I haven't budgeted for it. Forgetting that hat. Someone needs to take memory class before she goes running off to Hollywood. I've got my hat, okay? Okay. Look at you. You are an angel. I swear that's what you are. You're my angel. Are you the current Southwest record holder for most beauty pageant titles, but today you become a college graduate. <laughs> My heart's so full of pride, I could just burst. Bang, there it goes. <laughs> I'm 
going to cry up and ruin my mascara, so I'm going to hug you instead. Oh, oh, oh careful. Oh, I'm You'll squash my okay, hand. Okay. Miss Vi Ambrose. 30 years ago, she turned her back on Hollywood's glamour factory and brought her secrets to this sleepy little town. Tiffany Dahl had been my childhood best friend, a former Miss Piggly Wiggly, now a local news reporter. Rumor had it that she burnt down a retirement home with a discarded cigarette, but the charges were dropped for lack of proof. Behind me, in this beauty college, dozens of men and women have had these secrets passed on to them. What an exciting day. Each and every one of these talented students has proven himself or herself to be a skilled ambassador of beauty in a world of chaos. They are the only barrier between glamour and a home perm gone wrong. <laughs> be very proud. And now, for the recipient of the Golden Tweezer Award for excellence in the field of plucking and shaping, Miss Corinne Daly. <laughs> Liz Guild was one of those friends you could count on to attend anything and take lots of photos of you. I just don't know what to say. This is great. This is really great. Oh my, so great. I mean, I can't tell y'all what a great day this has been. I shall always remember this part of my life when I'm in Hollywood. And Miss Fi Ambrose, I sure will tell Miss Kim Novak hi and all if I meet her. <laughs> Tiffany? Tiffany Doll? Oh my God. How long's it been? About 10 years. You may be wondering about Liz. Well, Lorelai had made me and Tiffany adopt Liz when we were kids. She said everyone needed a friend whose unfortunate lack of je ne sais quoi always made you look good. Well, to think we know a newswoman. Oh, you're just like Diane Sawyer. Oh, she's my favorite, because she was America's senior miss 1963, and now she gets paid millions of dollars just to read things. If that ain't inspiration for literacy, I don't know what it is. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> Hardly, but I'm working on it. In fact, I'm going to LA next month. Big network meeting. Hollywood? Tiffany was my ticket out of this town, and I'd be damned if I was going to let it slip by. Suddenly, I had a plan. I don't believe this! I'm going to Hollywood too! I don't have a job or anything, but hey, maybe we could be roommates and everything. Yeah! <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, Mama's just gonna die and all when I tell her I saw you and all. Oh, how is Lorelai? Lorelai was just fine, busy with one of her fashion shows. Casual wear sponsored in part by Dawson Motors, Lake Braddock's number one car dealer. Lyle Devereaux Green had been Lorelai's pageant MC and general love interest for 25 years. She always said while he was just her lover, she'd be young. Marriage was work. Work caused stress. Stress caused wrinkles. Now follow me and glide. Luscious melon see-through chiffon accentuated with sexy metallic sandals, purple passion toenails, PTA. Listen to Lyle, ladies. Bring those characters to life and twirl long lines the leg. That's it. A beauty college graduation and cats stuck in trees. I mean, do you think that Connie Chong gets cats stuck in trees? I need to get out of the rat hole and soon. New York, L.A., that's where it's at. How's my mother's way? But Are you listening to me? You need to find me a meaty story, a story with a pulse, a story with a life of its own, a story that the networks are going to want. I know. Something with movie of the week potential so Heather Locklear can play you. I couldn't believe my luck. Tiffany Dahl was just as desperate as I was to get to Hollywood. She needed a story. I needed to win that pageant. So I decided to make my move. Mama got this in the mail. I've been dying to show it to someone. Hey, maybe you could help me. So? 
It's another beauty pageant. Let me see that. Oh, but it's in Texas. The Miss Texas Tear Quest. And she won't go back after what happened. You know what happened? Even though I knew Tiffany was hungry for a potential news story, I didn't want to appear too anxious. So I decided to keep quiet and let Tiffany's curiosity get the better of her. Barry? Are you there? Is she okay? Barry left. Barry who? Come on, Barry, answer the phone. Remember the guy from school who was obsessed with Escape from Alcatraz? Well, he and Liz worked at a prison together and dated. So he, he left. He got himself transferred to some private women's prison in Texas. Look, I know that you probably have yourself some nice forger gal or something by now. He took all her clothes with him when he left. But you can at least call me. No one knows why. <laughs> there, now. <laughs> What'd we say about puffy eyes? <laughs> a bigger twirl, a bigger twirl. Yes, no, arms down, arms down. Big Cheryl, please, mind the carpet. <laughs> and get ready, you're on next. It actually took place in Paris, France. Acupuncture took 10 years of women's bones. Oh, those French are so lucky. Although I hear they drink poodle blood. What? Where did you hear that? That is utter nonsense. The French are naturally beautiful, especially Paris women, Parisians, as we are called. You're from Paris? Oh, yes, indeed, I am Paris. I'm proud of it. Paris, Texas. It's not Paris, France, but I do believe the cities are spiritually connected, which has given me my gift for understanding beauty. Arms down, Susan. That's right. Twirl. See, now, I never would have gotten to be Miss Texas Gal 1969 if I didn't know how to twirl. Just like that retirement home I heard you burnt down? Shut up. You nearly burnt my head. It is a foam head. It is an unhappy houseway. Are you her parent? Well, be careful. No one's gonna hire me with a burnt head. Okay, people, are you gonna listen to my plan or what? Why? Why should I trust an arsonist like you? Oh, you need more plucking, Shug. Because I have a plan to get you into that pageant. You said us. Think of it. One final tiara before they announce your retirement in Beauty Queen Monthly. Front page. I guarantee it. Just think of it. No more festival pageants with peanuts for prize money. I think she's done all right. But this is a state pageant. Chance for the big time. I could have made the big time. Then why didn't you? Yeah. Because I dropped out of pageants. Anyway, everybody knows that I should have been Miss Teen El Paso, Chile, 1985. You? I won that pageant with my baton twirling. Excuse me, my version of Dionne Warwick's Do You Know the Way to San Jose had the judges in tears. Ha! From laughing at you, everybody knows that it was my The Way We Were that brought the house down. Was not. Was too. I think we need to sell this once and for all. How? Compete in this pageant with me. OK. Liz, you coming? Me? Oh, no, I, I don't think I need to do that. Oh, Texas, Liz. Don't you want to see Barry? I mean, imagine when he sees you all dressed up. I guess you could have a point. Oh, come on, Liz, you have to come. You're my best friend. Besides, it'll be fun. OK. OK. You're on. OK. But how are we gonna get Mama to a break? Just let me handle Lorelai. Ready? Like the three musketeers finally reunited, we headed off to see what Lorelai would say. I'm gonna kick your ass. That's what you're doing. I am. Hey, what about me?
coming. Mom! No, what? wait, wait, I, I, I hear her. She's here. Corinne's here. What? Let me up loud. Get the camera. Get the camera. Surprise! <laughs> oh, I know you knew about your dinner, but I just love saying that. <laughs> oh, congratulations, baby. Hey, Liz, you know where everything is. We'll get set. Oh, yes, Miss Daly. How many times do I have to tell you? You can call me Lorelei. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Your hair looks great. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Daly. Well, well, well. Miss Tiffany Dahl. Burnt down in retirement homes lately? That was an accident. What I didn't know was that Lorelai and Tiffany had had a falling out years ago in Texas. It seemed Tiffany knew more about Mama than any of us. Well, I'll get rid of this cigarette. And Mama was determined to keep it that way. Yes, baby. She almost burnt my head, Mama. Oh, really? I mean, are you gonna go on about that all night? If I have to. Hey, you sparkle. You sparkle for your mama, huh? You smile? Please smile for me. That's it. That's it. Come on, I'm not gonna let go to you smile. Oh, well, there's my baby. There she is. <laughs> Little pretty smile. She's got her mama's smile. Let me get it. Smile. Hey, I know. I know we could use this for this year's Christmas cards. Oh. Good. One more. One more. Come on. Good. <laughs> oh, wait, though. Our dresses don't match. Our dresses don't match. I mean, I, I, I should have taken the... I should take more care to coordinate our outfits. <laughs> oh, we got a burnt head and a bad fashion decision. We're just, just a Greek tragedy, you and me. Come on, Mama. Mama. <laughs> you are a marvel. A marvel. All the things you think to do. Come on. No tears, baby. Oh, no. Spilt milk. Spilt milk. No tears. Say what, baby. Hey, Liz, bring on some of those hors d'oeuvres. Les boulettes et fromages, s'il vous plaît. You eat, Tiffany, you're all skin and bones. La, where's my drink? No. Thank you. <clears throat> wow. It's just like stepping back into my childhood. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Beauty Queen World. Come on. Just remember why you're here. She's got it. Yeah, baby. Hey, Tiffany. Remember me? Hello, Lyle. Still slippery as a martini, I see. Wanna dance? No. But thank you for asking. Okay. Your loss. I know all the moves. <laughs> something that I need to talk to you about. The Miss Texas Tiara Quest seeks the services of Miss Texas Gal, 1969, Miss Lorelei Daly, in directing their pageant to be held on the 10th of September in Paris, Texas. Please notify Miss Trixie Blue ASAP. That's five days from now. Honey, this is great. You can direct a real state pageant now instead of this local crap. Oh, thank you. That is very nice. You know I can't do it. That's why I threw the letter in the trash, Corinne. Why can't you? Why can't you do this? I haven't been back to Texas for years. People will talk. They, they will have forgotten. No, no. People don't forget. Not Texans. No, no. Texas and Miss Texas Gal are just not meant to be. How many pageants have we done together, Tom? Two, three hundred, maybe. We've cured two diseases as the results of our work. You are the Jerry Lewis of the pageant scene. At least you were. Look, this gives you a chance to be at the top of your field again. Darling. I know. Lyle, 
<laughs> anyway, if memory serves, Tiffany never does anything for anybody but herself. I mean, what's in it for her? She wants us all to compete. One last time for old time's sake. And I get the cover of Beauty Queen Monthly. Lorelai, we are like family. I mean, we have traveled all over the country together. I mean, heck, I saw more of you than I did my mother. <laughs> That's true. My mother hated pageants. She always said, Ah, oh, Liz, why do you want to surround yourself with vain women, find another crowd to hang out with? Now I work in a prison. Okay, I want to do a documentary on Corinne, a piece. I'm calling it Feminist Warriors. A story. I knew it. You press are all alike. You are all sharks. No, look, Lorelai, you've got it all wrong. I mean, yes, it is true. It is about beauty queens. But I want to do something different. I think that it's time that America saw what we're really all about, what kind of a contribution we really make, that we are not all just tiaras and smiles. I mean, you'd be surprised. Pageants don't have a very good image. I mean, I think that it's time that we gave the old image a makeover. And yes, it will help my career. I, I, I'd be on television. Mm. What channel? I'm not sure. Maybe the Learning Channel? Oh, educational. I like that. So, this would be uh, like a kind of visual aid for young beauty queens. <laughs> Kinda. God, Lord, maybe I could actually get my book finally published. It's uh, Lower My <laughs> Daily's Beauty Secrets. I did the introduction. Um, I was thinking more along the lines of a story. We'll follow Corrine's progress. And Liz's as well. Look, Lorelai, I know that things were hard. We, we don't talk about that. But I really think that maybe... That's should... enough, young lady. After three martinis, two Valium, and some spiritual guidance from Jackie Suzanne, it was pretty obvious that Miss Texas gal was going to go home. You don't have a camera in my face the whole way. And we don't talk about the thing. Fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. They want Miss Texas gal 1969. They got her. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Careful what you wish for, I always say. I'm already here. Can you believe we're going home? And hey, maybe we could move into your daddy's place. Just been sitting empty since he died. Who said anything about moving home? I just wanted to make an honest woman out of you, you know. I don't need no piece of paper and some cubic zirconia ring you get out of some Vegas vending machine to make me an honest woman. Well, no reason to make a big deal out of it. You're going to make a big deal out about me being an honest woman. But well, why even have me around all this time? Get undressed, you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Green. <laughs> How do you do, Mrs. Green? Kareem Green. <laughs> what <did> you <laughs> right now, I'm about to go on the road to Paris, Texas, for the Miss Texas Tiara pageant. With me, Miss Texas gal 1969 Lorelai Daily. Tiffany was about to learn that the only star in a Lorelai Daily show was Lorelai Daly. Oh gosh, I like that. Can we take this gal 2000? Hey, Tiffany, thank you. I mean, you know, before we start, I would like to begin with an inspirational quote. Neely, turn slowly to your... Okay, Corinne, give me an honest answer. Just be yourself. Beauty queens, feminist warriors, or slaves to sequence. I like sequins. Okay, cut. 
Lyle, I said cut sugar. Okay, Corinne, the answer is feminist warriors. Just... Lyle, could you please keep the camera steady? You're all shaky. Shaking my ass. You see, this is the intro. This is where we bring the audience into the story. We can't have you contradict what we're trying to say here with you saying things like, I like sequins. But I do. <laughs> you said be honest. I, I love sequins. They're pretty and they're shiny, especially when the light hits them. They're sort of like a pretty armor. So I guess that's what a feminist warrior would wear. <laughs> good answer, baby. Good answer. Can't see anything. That's because the lens cap's on. Corinne likes sequins. Corinne likes sequins. Come on. You know, look at her. She looks so beautiful. But it's not about sequins. <laughs> It's about strong, independent women. You know, leather skirts, breastplates. What do these words make you think of? Liz? Lyle? Hookers come to mind. This whole feminist movement thing just got way out of control. You know, women were told to burn their bras, and they did, and they had to spend a fortune buying new ones when they realized the only thing that had moved were their breasts. That is true, but see, what I'm going for here is imagery. Like Helen of Troy. Oh, gosh, Tiffany, you know what? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you know, you're not gonna find any imagery around here either. We're just um, hard working Americans. Hey, hey, what was that quote you came up the other day? Uh, beauty fades, but, but fabulous, fabulous is, is forever. forever. <laughs> you know, you wanna talk to Helen Troy, you know, you just go interview her. But you're doing a really good job, and I'm so proud of you. You know what? Let's go from the top. And Corinne, you talk about sequins all you want to. Everyone. Okay, later, darling. Oh, and also, Tiffany, it's the, the title. The title's just all wrong. You know, it's got to have a feel of like a, more like a beauty queen. I was thinking maybe like a race for the tiara. You know, oh, some Olympic I feel like that. to it. That's you know, right. do you think? I love it, too. Oh, Lyle, Lyle, look at her. She doesn't look like a little prison guard anymore. Oh, gosh, Lyle. What have I taught you? Beauty is a curse. A cross. Beauty's a cross. But thank the good Lord, only a few of us have to bear it. I'm gonna keep my feet firmly on the ground and reach for the star! Yeah. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. I am sparkling. How are they gonna see the real Corinne Daly if they don't see you smile? Huh? If okay, everyone go, 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 go. would wear a smile all day. I can wear something else. Oh, Shut it's your trophy. It's not what you're wearing that's the problem! Well, of course it is. You know, honey, you don't have time to change anyway. You know what? I think we got a really good start here. All right, everybody, see the bus. On the yeah! Oh, Woo! Yeah. Woo! Come on. Come on. Shoot. Everything was going fine. We were finally on the road. My plan was working. But then Liz had to go and have her 300th breakdown that week over Barry. And Lorelai sure as hell didn't want to hear it the whole way to Texas. As I recall, someone was not very strong in general knowledge. Lyle, sugar, help me out here. General knowledge? Mm -hmm. What is the capital of Peru? Peru? Damn, I never had an inmate from Peru. I'll say Rio. Sounds pretty good to me. Someone has no time for crying. Not if she wants Barry to think she's the most beautiful girl in the world. He's gonna want to see you sparkle. You really think this is going to work? I guarantee it. 
I'm gonna make you my special project, okay? Okay. Okay, Missy, let's go. We're gonna do some reading. Shoot book. Oh, honey. I was done. You gonna dim those things? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, Liz, this covers everything you are ever gonna need to know. Are you sure? Yes, because you're also going to read it in German, French, Greek, and Italian. I don't know any of those languages. Exactly. You need to learn that beauty is a language of its own. It knows no barriers. That's why international pageants are so popular. Tiffany, what are you doing up there? Are you on some kind of armadillo hunt? Tiffany, I'm trying to do honor. Can we pull over? No, 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 no. We're not pulling over. We're making good time. How about letting old Lyle help you forget about Barry? I could show you some of those moves I learned down in Rio. Have you been to Rio? I have been to Rio. Oh, Lyle, the Rio Grande doesn't count. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Carnival. <laughs> Take the wheel a second so that I can look. No one's really sure what happened, but it seems while Tiffany and Lorelai fought for control of the Lido, Liz's tears had unglued her false eyelash, which was now a cocktail garnish. And Lyle was about to do what Lorelai always said he was going to do drink himself to death. <laughs> Already somebody is dead. I have to get out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop it! Panicking is not gonna get us anywhere! <gasps> what did you do that for? You're the one panicking? I know, but you don't have to slap me. Can we concentrate on this? A man is dead. I know what they do to murderers in prison. He choked on the eyelash. It was an accident. Yeah, but it was my eyelash. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so it's manslaughter at the most. Manslaughter? Are you sure? Oh my god. This is your fault swerving all of the road. I am not responsible. Corinne should have bought better eyelash glue. Shut up! You shut up! No, shut you up. shut up! Go no, on, you shut up! Okay. We go to the police. Tell them what happened. No. Lorelai, we have to. And tell them what? We go on. Okay, you can't be serious. I am a member of the press. I can't get involved in something like this. Oh, please, like you have morals. Do you need a slap? Okay, okay. Here is the plan. Here's the plan. I have a friend in Amarillo, and it's right on our way. Good plan. We'll bury him. We're talking about a person. Okay, so we'll have him cremated. Fine, but we still need to report the body. I have a book of matches we could burn him. Or better yet, we'll have Tiffany do it. She likes burning things. Corinne! I'm just trying to help. No. We need to report this. <laughs> hey, it's Lyle who's going to miss him. Lorelai, think about what you're saying. We have a dead man here. People are going to be looking for him. You're not thinking clearly. You're in shock. Don't tell me what I'm thinking or what I'm feeling. I'm telling you, the only people that are gonna miss Lyle are the people he owes money to, and they all want to see him dead anyway. Come on, Tiffany, help me move him. But before we had a chance to do anything, we had company, and not the kind any of us Mama. wanted. We would never get away with this. Liz was sure to crack under the pressure, and we would have to make like the Von Trapp family and head for the nearest border. So we did what any smart beauty queens would do in a crisis. We flirted for our lives. Good afternoon, ladies. Sure is hot. Hey. hey. So, uh, 
Everything okay? Oh, yeah, we're just uh, pulled over to see if we had a flat tire. You know, there's so many holes in that road back there, you know. All those taxes we pay, you'd think they'd pay for something. <laughs> So how far are you going? Texas. <laughs> I'm escorting these beautiful young ladies to a, a beauty pageant. Mm. And uh, first we shuffle Falls, and then uh, uh, Paris, and uh, Corinne, Liz. Normally not let themselves go around in such a tire, but you know, being so hot. It sure is. <laughs> Anyone else traveling with you? Uh, yes, one more young lady, uh, Lila. Um, g girls, girls, make sure that Lila's decent. Okay. <laughs> just, uh, you know, she's an average guy. Hang on. Yeah, what can you do? <laughs> young girls, you know they are. <laughs> well, you ladies have a safe trip. Well, same back at you. <laughs> should go for something a little heavier. Bring out the cheeks more. Corinne! What? I know we're disguising Lyle, but can we do it without the makeup tips? Fine! Just a little bit of blush here. And maybe a breath mint. Corinne! That was it. I refused to live with my mother and her dead boyfriend. There was only one choice. I would have to escape to Hollywood. But how? Suddenly I remembered. Mama had told the cop we were going to Wichita Falls for a pageant. I scanned Beauty Queen Monthly, and then there it was, right in front of me. First prize was a new car, but not just any old car. It was my getaway car. And it came with a year's worth of hairspray. I could not only escape, I could drive with the top down and keep my hair nice. Grab my camera, it's in the bag back there. Why? Because I came to get a story. Here, hold the wheel. How are you doing, Lorelai? Almost done with the capes for Western wear. I meant, um, with Lyle. <laughs> Lyle's dead. People die. Life goes on. So, Tiffany, have you decided on your talent yet? No, I haven't. Not yet. Well, you could do that cute hula hoop tap dance number. Oh, God. <laughs> I haven't done that since I was 12. You could do anything you set your mind to. You can do great things, Missy. Thank you. Hey, Tiffany? Yes? Friend may be stupid, but I'm all to you. I know what you want. If you want that story on me, you're gonna play things my way. Deal? Deal.
Lorelai decided that the best thing for us to do was focus on the pageant. After all, we needed a lot of rehearsal if we were going to win. Ladies, I don't hear any practicing going on here. My name is Corinne Daly and I'm 24 years old. I love rescuing endangered trees and baton twirling. You can't twirl batons. I'm twirling batons, Miss Daly. No, I'm twirling batons. God, you weren't even a beauty queen until yesterday. Corinne, shut up. Okay, this is never gonna work. Let's try something else. Unfortunately, the only thing Laurel I could think of was the number she had designed for us back when we were six. And of course, Tiffany had to take over. Okay, just follow my lead. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. looking at myself. Oh. Okay, girls. Everything's secure outside. Oh. Excuse me. Have we forgotten what we do before bed? I, I must, I must, must, I must increase my bust. Most people don't want to be busy with CR. I must increase my bust. I must, I must. I must increase my bust. I can't believe I'm in bed so early. That is not sleeping, I hear. Tiffany, do you still wear your tiara when you sleep at night? No. Sometimes. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, yeah. Please. You've got to climb to the top of Mount Everest to reach the Valley of the Dolls. It's a brutal climb to reach that peak, which so few have seen. You never knew what was really up there, but the last thing you expected to find was the Valley of the Dolls. You stand there waiting for the rush of exhilaration you thought you'd feel. It doesn't come. You're too far away to hear the applause, take your bows, and there's no place left to climb. You're alone and the feeling of loneliness is overpowering. The air is so thin you can scarcely breathe. You've made it, and the world says you're a hero. But it was more fun at the bottom when you started, with nothing more than hope and the dream of fulfillment. All you saw was the top of that mountain. There was no one to tell you about the valley of the dog but it's different when you reach the summit. The elements have left you battered, deafened, sightless, and too weary to enjoy your victory. She had never meant to start the climb, yet unwittingly she took her first step the day she looked around and said to herself, this is not enough. I want something more. And when she met him, it was too late to turn back. Was determined that if Miss Texas Gal was home, the whole damn state would have to know about it. In her mind, this was no cowboy bar. This was Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas. Yeah! All right, let's party! Ladies and gentlemen, 
Next Cowgirl Palace is proud to present for one night only, Miss Lorelai Daly. Hello, boys. Been a long time. Did you miss me? While Lorelai was looking for love, I'd gone looking for Lorelai, and I had unfortunately arrived in time to see my future, and it was drunk, wearing a sequin cowgirl outfit, and lip syncing badly. Suddenly it was clear to me, we were more white trash than the Judds. It was definitely time for me to leave home. So to cash that, I guess you're buying. <laughs> I say martinis. What do you say? I say very dry, very chilled, and very fast, please. So, is this what I have to look forward to? No. This is uh, what I have to look forward to. You've got the whole world at your feet. You judging me? No. Because no matter what else I might think about you, Mama, you got way too much class for me to ever judge you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. The lights and the people. Mm -hmm. yeah, the crowd watching nobody else but you. Only you. Mm -hmm. You know, for a few minutes, there's just nobody else. You know that feeling. Mm -hmm. I love that feeling for it not to matter where you are or what you're doing. Most people would think that was crazy. You could have been the biggest in all the world. Bigger than all the beauty queens put together. Why didn't you? Let's drink to lie. He's the reason we're here. Okay, to lie. To lie. To lie. Okay. You gotta promise me that you are not gonna take me home until I'm very, very drunk so that I can throw up like the classy broad that I am. Oh, Mama, I'm gonna throw it up to you. <laughs> Thank you. 
After her 12th martini, Lorelai announced that she knew she needed to bury Lau. But since Lau hated funerals, it would have to be a cocktail party at sunrise. Something tasteful. Something that said she cared deeply, but wasn't a relative. I offered my help, but she said she was the one who needed to break the news to him. You want one? Hey, guess who I saw now? I saw Ned. He was asking after you. Don't worry, I covered for you. I wish you'd been there not to see me. You'd have been so proud of me. I was fabulous. <laughs> and, and my outfit still fits. Kinda. Here, baby. Here you go. That's the way you like it. It's time to say goodbye. Say hey, goodbye. Tomorrow will be your big day. I want you to look nice. Yes. Lorelai stayed up all night sewing, creating the perfect goodbye. And as it turned out, it wasn't so much a funeral as it was one final fashion show for her Lyle. to arrive in Wichita Falls for the Miss Universal Hair Pageant. Tiffany, put the damn camera away and get ready. Jesus, I'm just trying to record the moment. Now, Missy.
I already knew that these hair pageants attracted a lot of girls with split ends and bad dye jobs hoping for free hair products. But that didn't mean I could relax. No, winning pageants always meant being aware of the competition. No one was going to win my car if I could help it. After all, Tiffany couldn't be trusted. And even Liz had been practicing with those batons just a little too much. Liz? Liz? Probably practicing those damn batons. Only, even the best laid plans can come unglued. Number 52, correct? Yeah. <laughs> Um, Liz, I've, um, lost my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you got a new one. <laughs> I'm Stan Wallace. I'm one of the judges. Now, what is a pretty girl like you doing wandering around, drinking before a pageant? You know it's against the rules. Uh, please, do we have to tell anybody about this? <laughs> Well, I think I'll be able to help you out, if you're nice about it. And you didn't see anything? Well, come inside. We can talk about it. This may not look like the face of a seductress, but I decided that if I was going to make it in Hollywood, I'd need to learn how to handle men. Corinne! How about a real drink, honey? I need to powder my nose. <laughs> I thought I'd get ready for the swimsuit section. Think of the tiara. Think of the tiara. Your daughter! Hey, hold it, hold it! I know you! You're Lorelei Daly. Miss Texas gal. Remember? Wasn't that it? Corinne, get dressed. Get downstairs. Stop it! I'm not a child! You stop acting like one. I didn't raise you this way. All right, you two get out of here. I have a lot of things to do. You make me not lay down. But, Mama! Yeah, I... Missy! <laughs> Let's not go getting all riled up. How you doing, Stan? I'm doing just fine. You want a drink? No, I don't think so. But you go ahead and have one. I didn't know it was your daughter, I swear. Let's forget the whole thing ever happened. I won't say anything if you don't. Ooh, you look good. Could be 10 years ago. You haven't changed a bit. Well, that's nasty. Trying to flatter me? No, all I was trying to do is let you know how much I always liked you. Shh, honey. I was trying to remember. Yeah, you know, I was trying to remember too. Sugar. I was trying real hard to remember if I slept with you back then. Because, you know, it's funny how after a while the rumors you hear about yourself sound so real. So real that you begin to think you really are that person that everyone's whispering about. And then I think to myself, how stupid was I that I would let people even think that I would sleep with a cockroach like you? All right, the reunion is over. Not yet! You hold it right there! I've had 10 years to think about it. Every time I moved to a new town and left in a hurry, I thought about it. Every time my kid won a tiara, I thought about it. Did people think that her mama slept with some sleaze bag for her to win? So I think that it's very important that you understand what it is you made me feel like. Let's see, what's the word I'm searching for? Dirt? No, that's not quite it. Come on, Stan, help me out here. We're in this together. Crap. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, 
big pile of flaming dog poop. Well, listen to Miss High and Mighty. You still dancing in bars for tips, honey? I don't remember you being so concerned back then. I think that your memory is not what it used to be, Stan. I think it needs a little refreshing. Dancing in bars for tips, honey. Hey, oh. everybody! <laughs> Look who's here! Ah. Hold it, hold it! I know you! You're Lorelei Daly. <sighs> Miss Texas gal. Now, I never would have gotten to be Miss Texas gal in 1969 if I didn't know how to twirl. Beauty fades, but, but fabulous, fabulous is, is forever. Beauty is a curse. Lies dead, people die, life goes on. I don't need no piece of paper and some cubic zirconia ring you get out of some Vegas vending machine to make me an honest woman. Is this what I have to look forward to? Mama, I'm sorry about before. Mama, I said I was sorry. Well, you should have thought of that back in Wichita Falls. I will possess you. Mama, I said I was sorry. I do not need a pill. Mama, you're upset. Yes, upset, yes, I'm upset. Don't you think I have a right to be upset? I'm tired. Liz, where are we? Uh, I don't know. Sit. Sit. Y'all talk me into this. Oh, come on, Laurel. I'll be like a nice vacation. You know, a big family vacation. It'll be fun. God damn, we're out of tab. We're out of food. Damn it, we're out of tab. We're out of Well, you could have thought to pack some food, huh? You know, Lyle, you're never listening. You never listen to me. People need things on a vacation. Food and suntan oil and then, you know, little shovels and pails to make sandcastles and pretty postcards. Hey, listen, you want to compete in this pageant, you will get dressed. Here, even wear first. Here, put this on. Put this on. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> Tiffany, what is your introduction? Uh, Snap out those answers, Missy. What would you do if you were Miss Texas Tierra? Liz, you are not represented, but come on, come on. Flick, twist, flick, twist, flick, twist, and put on your damn fall. I, I'm driving, Mrs. Daly. Oh, my name is Laura Lai. Liz, I think you can say that. I think you can. Laura Lai, that isn't my name. Will you say it, please? Laura Lai. Okay, okay. <sighs> It's just it's too big. Come here, I'll fix it. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. We'll stuff it. Sit so still. I don't want to wear this dress. The dress is too big. Friend, sit still. I will fix your dress. Or do not use that tone with me. <laughs> no, I don't want bigger breasts. I don't want to wear this dress. I'm fine. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. Okay. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fine. So. Okay, if you want to be known as the crazy girl who twirls the baton in a ball game, you know that this pageant is the big time. This is the big time. This is the chance to go back to Texas as a star. Make something of yourself. Don't you want to sparkle? I'm tired of sparkling. And stop saying that. It's not even your saying you stole it from a book. You're always telling me to sparkle. Well, I don't want to sparkle anymore. I made some of myself. I made something out of myself. Me? Why can't you be like me? Huh? Who cares? You quit pageants. You quit. I could have kept competing. I could have kept competing. In case you haven't realized. I'm not pregnant with you. Stop it. Oh! <laughs> 
I was just a sea cup. Just a sea, just a single sea. Don't you go through your life being just a sea cup. The king likes a double D. Alvin D. Yeah, well, he could have been your father if I hadn't forgotten my Kleenex. Only we don't know who he is, right? He could have been any old yeah. pageant judge. Thanks. Is that who that guy was, my father? You watch your mouth. Missy, yes, you watch your mouth. That is none of your... By God, I've given you a good life. Have you? You stole my life! You stole my first! There you go. Do you think they're still alive? God, I hope so. I don't want to bury anybody else. <laughs> Come on, let's go see. Brenda Starr, Tiffany, tell them the real reason you're here. The real reason you came, hmm? Get a story on me? Yeah. Yeah, the real reason we left Texas. <laughs> the real scandal. I never slept with that judge. Never. I turned him down. And so when Corinne won, I thought, well, you know, he's a decent person. You know, I thought I'd won a little victory. But he had plans. He told lies. Filthy, ugly lies that spread through the pageant circuit like a Texas Longhorn in heat. And nobody would hire me to organize. They said I was unstable, that I was, you know, an unsuitable influence on young ladies, and that I was a, a bad mother. <laughs> and that is why we left Texas. Lyles, so understanding, you know, he just told me not to listen to all the gossips. I don't know why he hung around, but I used to tell him to get lost all the time. And he'd, he'd say, you know, hey, you'll never get rid of me. I'm like Christmas shopping. I'm tacky, expensive, and sometimes make you wish you were Jewish. And he'd say, hell, Lorelai, who, who else are you going to tango with? <laughs> Poor Lyle. You know, he wasn't as stupid as everybody thought. Oh, Lord, that's what I look like. Oh, gosh. More like Miss Texas Ghoul, 1969. Oh, no, not on my ship, Missy. Liz, give me some ice, Tiffany. Give me my makeup kit. <laughs> there, look at you. I swear you are an angel. My very own angel, that's what you are. Oh, my heart may just burst with pride any second. <laughs> Bang, there it goes. <laughs> I love you so much, Mom. I swear I got your smile. Mm. 
people all wanted to marry me. <laughs> Lorelai Green. I don't think so. <laughs> Green, green. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh. Oh, thank you. Oh. Maybe I could read you something. Who'd you like to hear about? Neely? Uh. Anne? Maybe Helen Lawson? You read the book? I lived it, Lorelai. <laughs> <laughs> You can call me Mrs. Green. <laughs> all right, I want you all to get. You need some sleep. You got a big day tomorrow. I need some time alone. Now go on, get. Go on. Allons-y, allons-y, s'il vous plaît. We may have made it, but as always, life was about to deal us a new surprise. And shoulders back and hips forward, shoulders back and hips forward, and lift your lips now! Sparkle, 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 tits and feathers, tits and feathers, tits, 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 feather, 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 feather! Oh, oh God! Oh! Well, hi. Can I help you? Uh, yes, uh, I'm looking for Miss Balloon. Oh my God, you're here. <laughs> you're really here. Have you heard the one about the drag queen and the beauty queen? The beauty queen is the one that doesn't look like Betty Davis or Charo. <gasps> look, everybody, it's the man's Texas gal. <laughs> oh, honey, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> May I call you, honey? What do I call you? Come here. <laughs> I call you Miss Texas Gal, I call you Miss Lorelai. <laughs> what? Lorelai's fine. <laughs> well, Miss Texas Gal here. <laughs> Can you believe it? Why does that girl need a facial wax? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, yes. Where are all of the contestants? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> These are the contestants. <laughs> Say hi, girls! Hi, hi girls. girls! You know, I've always wanted to meet you. I know everything about you. Uh, would you like a tab? <laughs> well, there is no tab in Texas. <laughs> Honey, in my house, there's always tab. <laughs> God, as hard as I try, <laughs> I cannot seem to get this group to sparkle! Sparkle, 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 sparkle. <laughs> And then this one over here, <laughs> well, she wants to do her own number. <laughs> and well, I just said she cannot. It was clear that Miss Trixie needed Lorelai's help. The drag queens were getting rowdy, and everyone knows there's nothing scarier than a hostile bunch of Texan men in heels. It was then that Lorelai knew she had been guided here by none other than Jackie Suzanne. You bet your ass she cannot. She's not gonna get the chance. This is my show, ladies. I am not you Santa Claus. Oh, oh, Here's yeah. a dressing up in line right now. Yeah. So, yeah. We're at the only star in the Lorelai Daily Show is yeah. Lorelai Daily. Yeah. Guess y'all don't need to stay. Um, hello. If I ever saw a need for my special pluck, and this is it. Where do I set up? Uh, and you? Are you kidding? I would miss this for the world. Can I film it? The triumphant return of Lorelai Daly. Oh, I like the sound of that. Barry? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> so 
I guess it wasn't only Liz's clothes that came out of the closet. I want my clothes back! All right, girls, the show's over. All right, line up. Everybody, now! In a straight line, straight line. This is the motliest bunch of ladies I have ever seen. And no gum chewing on my shift. Missy, you know who you are. Spit it out. Now, I want everybody to give me a twirl. A twirl. And one. And twirl. Keep it up. 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 Do. Do. The red. You call that a twirl? All right. Never mind. Let's try something else. I think you know the routine, ladies. All right. Go. I must. I must. I must increase my bust. I must. I must. I must increase my bust. I must. I must. I must. This is Tiffany Dahl reporting live from the Texas Tiara Quest. And so, Lorelai led her troops to victory. She later said she thought the drag queens were Lyle's way of telling her things would be okay. After all, she buried him in a dress. Don't worry, Liz and Barry made up and shared Liz's clothes. So there you have it. Not long after the pageant, Mama moved into her daddy's place and opened the Paris chapter of the Jackie Suzanne Reading Society. She gave me and Tiffany the Lido a copy of Valley of the Dolls, and sent us off with her blessings and enough quotes to help us climb to the top of our own Mount Everest, Hollywood. Call me every week, baby. We, we will. will. Remember what I taught you, girl. Beauty it is, is a, a curse. Close enough. You missed the turnoff, Corinne. It was that rare. It was not. Was too. Well, I'm not letting you drive. People die when you drive. Do not. Do too. And let go of the damn wheel. Do not. Okay, just follow my lead. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna do it. Give us any chance, we'll take it. With us any rule, we'll break it. We're gonna make our dreams come true. Do it our way. Nothing's gonna turn us back now. Straight ahead and on the track now. We're gonna make our dreams come true. There's no stopping 
didn't realize it at the time, but that piece of crumpled pink paper I'd found in the trash would change our lives forever. Unless, of course, you have any objections to eating till you get a job. You know I can't work while I'm the current Miss June Harvest. They take away my title, and then people would think I was involved in some sex scandal and not be written in town. Anyway, you know I'm going to retire from competition just as soon as I've saved enough money and go to Hollywood and do makeup for big Hollywood stars like Miss Vi Ambrose did. Well, I see we've both got our priorities. Mine is to support your talent as a multi-titled beauty queen, and yours is to throw me away like a bucket of smelly mop water while you pluck unwanted hair from movie stars. And don't you roll your eyes at me, Missy. I swear one of these mornings you're gonna wake up cross-eyed. Whenever I mentioned going to Hollywood, Lorelai would go nuts. But I couldn't spend my life as Lorelai's pageant assistant. No, I had dreams, big dreams. And somehow, this letter was my chance. You're always mocking Miss Vi Ambrose. And I've told you a thousand times, she invented Kim Novak's eyebrows. And she taught me all her secrets, because I'm her favorite student. Oh, secrets, secrets. None of those big stars wax or pluck anymore. It's all done with lasers. NASA developed them. I'm still her favorite student. And besides, I've just got to get to Hollywood. They'll show up plenty of eyebrows up on that big screen. I need my special plug-in. And if I can't get them, I'm just going to turn it. Honestly, Grandel, you are such a big baby. Oh, you know, I can't have this conversation anymore. You know, I mean, nobody dies from not getting to go to Hollywood. Well, then I guess I'll be the first. Oh, that is very nice. Well, just don't die this month, all right? I haven't budgeted for it. All this slamming doors give me a headache! All right, don't forget your head. I've got my head. Well, you're always forgetting that head. Someone needs to take memory class before she goes running off to Hollywood. I've got my head, okay? Okay. Look at you. You are an angel. I swear that's what you are. You're my angel. Not only are you the current Southwest record holder for most beauty pageant titles, but today you become a college graduate. <laughs> my heart's so full of pride I could just burst. Bang! There it goes. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, but it ruined my mascara, so I'm gonna hug you instead. Oh, oh, oh careful! Back. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, squash my okay, hand. Okay. Miss Vi Ambrose. Thirty years ago, for last help, the drag queens were getting rowdy, and everyone knows there's nothing scarier than a hostile bunch of Texan men in heels. It was then that Lorelai knew she had been guided here by none other than Jackie Suzanne. You bet your ass she cannot. She's not going to get the chance. This is my show, ladies. I am not you Santa go. Claus. Oh, oh, He's yeah. a busy up in the line right now. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. The only star in the Lorelai Daily Show is yeah. Lorelai Daily. Yeah. Guess y'all don't need to stay. Um, hello. If I ever saw a need for my special pluck, and this is it, where do I set up? Uh, and you? Are you kidding? I wouldn't miss this for the world. Can I film it? The triumphant return of Lorelai Daly. Oh, I like the sound of that. Fairy? <laughs> what the hell are you doing <laughs> So I guess it wasn't only Liz's clothes that came out of the closet. <laughs> oh, my clothes pack! All right, girls, Mary. show's over. All right, line up. Everybody, now! And no gum chewing on my shift. Missy, you know who you are. Spit it out. Now I want everybody to give me a twirl. A twirl. And one. And twirl. Keep it up. 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 Two. Goon! The red! You call that a twirl? All right, never mind. Let's try something else. I think you know the routine, ladies. All right, go. I must. I must. I must increase my bust. I must. I must. I must increase my bust. I must. I must. I must. I must increase my bust. This is Tiffany Dahl reporting live from the Texas Tiara Quest.
And so, Lorelai led her troops to victory. She later said she thought the drag queens were Lyle's way of telling her things would be okay. After all, she buried him in a dress. The real scandal. I never slept with that judge. Never. Turned him down. And so when Corinne won, I thought, well, you know, he's a decent person. You know, I thought I'd won a little victory. But he had plans. He told lies. Filthy, ugly lies that spread through the pageant circuit like a Texas Longhorn in heat. Nobody would hire me to organize. They said I was unstable, that I was, you know, an unsuitable influence on young ladies, and that I was a, a bad mother. <laughs> and that is why we left Texas. You know, Lyle was so understanding. You know, he just told me not to listen to all the gossips. I don't know why he hung around. But... I used to tell him to get lost all the time. And he'd, he'd say, you know, hey, you'll never get rid of me. I'm like Christmas shopping. I'm tacky, expensive, and sometimes make you wish you were Jewish. And he'd say, hell, Lorelai, who, who else are you going to tango with? <laughs> Poor Lyle. He, he wasn't as stupid as everybody thought. Oh, Lord, that's what I look like. Oh, gosh. More like Miss Texas Ghoul, 1969. Oh, no. Not on my ship, Missy. Liz, give me some ice, Tiffany. Give me my makeup kit. <laughs> there. Look at you. I swear you are an angel. My very own angel. That's what you are. Oh, my heart may just burst with pride any second. <laughs> Bang, there it goes. <laughs> I love you so much, Mom. I swear I got your smile. Lyle mm. mm. wanted to marry me. <laughs> Lorelai Green. I don't think so. <laughs> green, green. <laughs> Something. Who'd you like to hear about? Neely? Uh, and maybe Helen Lawson. You read the book? I lived it, Lorelai. <laughs> <laughs> you can call me Mrs. Green. <laughs> Your faux mother of pearl tiara is growing faux barnacles. It's so filthy. Okay, so you can see where my life is at. I won my first tiara at six months old. 24 years later, I had 250 of them to clean. Don't get me wrong, Lorelai wasn't a bad mother. She just felt that giving birth to me had ruined her chances of ever looking good in a swimsuit again. Hey, 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 where's that smile? I expect you to act like a perfect lady at your graduation. I can't believe you're not coming to my graduation ceremony. Well, I can't believe how many beer cans a girl can hide under a sofa cushion. Now get over there and help me. I was saving them for recycling. You were saving them for your mama to clean up. Now, for your information, I cannot attend your graduation from Miss Bi Ambrose's Beauty Academy because I have a PTA ladies' lunch and fashion show to coordinate. I didn't realize it at the time. But that piece of crumpled pink paper I'd found in the trash would change our lives forever. Unless, of course, you have any objections to eating till you get a job. You know I can't work while I'm the current Miss June Harvest. They take away my title. And then people would think I was involved in some sex scandal and I'd be ran out of town. Anyway, you know I'm going to retire from competition just as soon as I've saved enough money and go to Hollywood and do makeup for big Hollywood stars like Miss Vi Ambrose did. Well, I see we've both got our priorities. Mine is to support your talent as a multi-titled beauty queen, and yours is to throw me away like a bucket of smelly mop water while you pluck unwanted hair from movie stars. 
And don't you roll your eyes at me, Missy. I swear one of these mornings you're gonna wake up cross-eyed. Whenever I mentioned going to Hollywood, Lorelai would go nuts. But I couldn't spend my life as Lorelai's pageant assistant. No, I had dreams, big dreams. And somehow, this letter was my chance. You're always mocking Miss Fine Ambrose. And I've told you a thousand times, she invented Kim Novak's eyebrows. And she taught me all her secrets, because I'm her favorite student. Oh, secrets, secrets. Now those big stars wax or pluck anymore. It's all done with lasers. NASA developed them. I'm still her favorite student. And besides, I've just got to get to Hollywood. They'll show up plenty of eyebrows up on that big screen. I need my special plug -in. And if I can't get them, I'm just going to turn it. Honestly, Grandel, you are such a big baby. Oh, you know, I can't have this conversation anymore. You know, I mean, nobody dies from not getting to go to Hollywood. Well, then I guess I'll be the first. Oh, that is very nice. Well, just don't die this month, all right? I haven't budgeted for it. Oh, this slamming door's giving me a headache! All right, you don't forget your head. I've got my head. Well, you're always forgetting that head. Someone needs to take memory class for sure. Are you listening to me? You need to find me a meaty story. A story with a pulse. A story with a life of its own. A story that the networks are going to want. I know. Something with movie of the week potential so Heather Locklear can play you. I couldn't believe my luck. Tiffany Dahl was just as desperate as I was to get to Hollywood. She needed a story. I needed to win that pageant. So I decided to make my move. Mama got this in the mail. I've been dying to show it to someone. Hey, maybe you could help me. So? It's another beauty pageant. Let me see that. Oh, but it's in Texas. The Miss Texas Tear Quest. And she won't go back after what happened. You know what happened? Even though I knew Tiffany was hungry for a potential news story, I didn't want to appear too anxious. So I decided to keep quiet and let Tiffany's curiosity get the better of her. Barry? Are you there? Is she okay? Barry left. Barry who? Come on, Barry, answer the phone. Remember the guy from school who was obsessed with Escape from Alcatraz? Well, he and Liz worked at a prison together and dated. So he, he left. He got himself transferred to some private women's prison in Texas. Look, I know that you probably have yourself some nice forger gal or something by now. He took all her clothes with him when he left. But you could at least call me. No one knows why. <laughs> there, now. What'd we say about puffy eyes? <laughs> a bigger twirl, a bigger twirl. Yes, no, arms down, arms down. Big. Cheryl, please, mind the carpet. <laughs> and get ready, you're on next. It actually took place in Paris, France. Acupuncture took 10 years off women's bones. Oh, those French are so lucky. Although I hear they drink poodle blood. What? Where'd you hear that? That is utter nonsense. The French are naturally beautiful, especially Paris women, Parisians, as we're called. You're from Paris? Oh, yes, indeed, I am. Paris, I'm proud of it. Paris, Texas. It's not Paris, France, but I do believe the cities are spiritually connected, which has given me my gift for understanding beauty. Arms down, Susan. That's right. Twirl. See, now, I never would have gotten to be Miss Texas Gal 1969 if I didn't know how to twirl. Badly. Suddenly it was clear to me, we were more white trash than the Judds. It was definitely time for me to leave home.
too much to just say. The whole thing. And that's all the cash there. I guess you're buying. <laughs> I say martinis. What do you say? I say very dry, very chilled, and very fast, please. So, is this what I have to look forward to? No. This is uh, what I have to look forward to. You've got the whole world at your feet. You judging me? No. Because no matter what else I might think about you, Mama, you got way too much class for me to ever judge you. The lights and the people. Mm -hmm. The crowd watching nobody else but you. Only you. Mm -hmm. You know, for a few minutes, there's just nobody else. You know that feeling. Mm. Gotta love that feeling for it not to matter where you are or what you're doing. Most people would think that was crazy. You could have been the biggest in all the world. Bigger than all the beauty queens put together. Why didn't you? Let's help me out. No, Say what, be. Hey, Liz, bring out some of those hors d'oeuvres. Les poulettes et fromage, s'il vous plaît. You eat, Tiffany, you're all skin and bones. La, where's my drink? No. Thank you. <clears throat> wow. It's just like stepping back into my childhood. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Beauty Queen World. Come on. Just remember why you're here. She's got it. Yeah, baby. Tiffany, remember me? Hello, Lyle. Still slippery as a martini, I see. Wanna dance? No, but thank you for asking. Okay. You're lost. I know all the moves. <laughs> something that I need to talk to you about. The Miss Texas Tiara Quest seeks the services of Miss Texas Gal, 1969, Miss Lorelei Daly, in directing their pageant to be held on the 10th of September in Paris, Texas. Please notify Miss Trixie Blue ASAP. That's five days from now. Honey, this is great. You can direct a real state pageant now instead of this local crap. Oh, thank you. That is very nice. You know I can't do it. That's why I threw the letter in the trash, Corinne. Why can't you? Why can't you do this? I haven't been back to Texas for years. People will talk. They, they will have forgotten. No, no. People don't forget. Not Texans. No, no. Texas and Miss Texas Gale are just not meant to be. How many pageants have we done together, Donna? Two, three hundred, maybe. We've cured two diseases as the results of our work. You are the Jerry Lewis of the pageant scene. At least you were. Look, this gives you a chance to be at the top of your field again. Darling. I know. Lyle. <laughs> hey, what was that quote you came up the other day? Uh, beauty fades. But, but fabulous, fabulous is, is forever. forever. <laughs> you know, you want
want to talk to Helen Troy, you know, you just go interview her. But you're doing a really good job. I am so proud of you. You know what? Let's go from the top. And Corinne, you talk about sequence all you want to. Everywhere. Okay, later, you know. darling. Oh, and also, Tiffany, it's the, the title. The title's just all wrong. You know, it's got to have a feel of like a, more like a beauty queen. And I was thinking maybe like race for the tiara. You know, oh, something like Olympic I feel like that. to That's it. Great. You know, do you think? I love it, too. Oh, I'm mad at you. Oh, Lyle, Lyle, look at her. She doesn't look like a little prison guard anymore. Oh, gosh, Lyle. What if I taught you? Beauty, Beauty is, is a, a curse. curse. A cross. Beauty's a cross. But thank the good Lord, only a few of us have to bear it. I'm going to keep my feet firmly on the ground and reach for the star. Yeah. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. I am sparkling. How are they going to see the real Corinne Daly if they don't see you smile? Huh? If okay. everyone go, 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 go. would wear a smile all day. I can wear something else. Oh, Shut it. It's not it. what you're wearing that's the problem. Well, of course it is. You know, honey, you don't have time to change anyway. You know what? I think we got a really good start here. All right, everybody, to the bus. On the yeah! bus! Yeah! Oh, oh, come on. Shoot. Everything was going fine. We were finally on the road. My plan was working. But then Liz had to go and have her 300th breakdown that week over Bay. I was done. You gonna dim those things? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, Liz, this covers everything you are ever gonna need to know. Are you sure? Yes, because you're also gonna read it in German, French, Greek, and Italian. I don't know any of those languages. Exactly. You need to learn that beauty is a language of its own. It knows no barriers. That's why international pageants are so popular. Tiffany, what are you doing up there? Are you on some kind of armadillo hunt? Tiffany, I'm trying to do honor. Can we pull over? No, 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 no. We're not pulling over. We're making good time. How about letting old Lyle help you forget about Barry? I could show you some of those moves I learned down in Rio. Have you been to Rio? I have been to Rio. Oh, Lyle, the Rio Grande doesn't count. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Carnival. <laughs> No one's really sure what happened, but it seems while Tiffany and Lorelai fought for control of the Lido, Liz's tears had unglued her false eyelash, which was now a cocktail garnish. And Lyle was about to do what Lorelai always said he was going to do, drink himself to death. Check him. I ain't touching him, you do it. No way, Liz. 
Maybe it's a coma. We've been on the road for five minutes and already somebody is dead. I have to get out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop it! Panicking is not gonna get us anywhere! <gasps> what did you do that for? You're the one panicking? I know, but you don't have to slap me. Can we concentrate on this? A man is dead. I know what they do to murderers in prison. He choked on an eyelash. It was an accident. Yeah, but it was my eyelash. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So it's manslaughter at the most. Manslaughter? Are you sure? Oh my god. This is your fault swerving all of the roads. I am not responsible. Corinne should have bought better eyelash glue. Shut up! You shut up! No, you shut, shut, up. Up. shut up! Don't let you shut up! With pride any second. <laughs> Bang, there it goes. <laughs> I love you so much, Mom. I swear I got your smile. <laughs> Mm. <sighs> Lyle wanted to marry me. <laughs> Lorelai Green. I don't think so. <laughs> green, green. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh. Oh. Maybe I could read you something. Who'd you like to hear about? Neely? Uh, Anne? Maybe uh, Helen Lawson? You read the book? I lived it, Lorelai. <laughs> <laughs> you can call me Mrs. Green. <laughs> all right, I want you all to get. You need some sleep. You got a big day tomorrow. I need some time alone. Now go on, get. Go on. Allons-y, allons-y, s'il vous plaît. We may have made it, but as always, life was about to deal us a new surprise. And shoulders back and hips forward, shoulders back and hips forward, lift your lips now! Sparkle, 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 tits and feathers, tits and feathers, tits, 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 tits. feather, 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 feather! Oh, oh God! Oh! Well, hi. Can I help you? Uh, yes, uh, I'm looking for Miss Ballou. Oh my God, you're here. <laughs> you're really here. Have you heard the one about the drag queen and the beauty queen? The beauty queen is the one that doesn't look like Betty Davis or Charo. <gasps> look, everybody, it's the man's Texas gal. Oh, honey, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> May I call you, honey? What do I call you? Come here. <laughs> to be a skilled ambassador of beauty in a world of chaos, they are the only barrier between glamour and a home perm gone wrong. <laughs> be very proud. <laughs> and now, for the recipient of the Golden Tweezer Award for excellence in the field of plucking and shaping, Miss Corinne Daly. <laughs> Liz Guild was one of those friends you could count on to attend anything and take lots of photos of you. I just don't know what to say. This is great. This is really great. Oh my, so great. I mean, I can't tell y'all what a great day this has been. I shall always remember this part of my life when I'm in Hollywood. And Miss Faye Ambrose, 
I sure will tell Miss Kim Novak hi and all if I meet her. <laughs> Tiffany? Tiffany Doll? Oh my god. How long's it been? About ten years. You may be wondering about Liz. Well, Lorelai had made me and Tiffany adopt Liz when we were kids. She said everyone needed a friend whose unfortunate lack of je ne sais quoi always made you look good. Well, to think we know a newswoman. Oh, you're just like Diane Sawyer. Oh, she's my favorite, because she was America's Senior Miss 1963, and now she gets paid millions of dollars just to write things. If that ain't inspiration for literacy, I don't know what it is. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> Hardly, but I'm working on it. In fact, I'm going to LA next month. Big network meeting. Hollywood? Tiffany was my ticket out of this town, and I'd be damned if I was gonna let it slip by. Suddenly, I had a plan. I don't believe this! I'm going to Hollywood too! I don't have a job or anything, but hey, maybe we could be roommates and everything. Yeah! <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, Mama's just gonna die and all when I tell her I saw you and all. Oh, uh, how is Lorelai? Lorelai was just fine, busy with one of her fashion shows. Casual wear sponsored in part by Dawson Motors, Lake Braddock's number one car dealer. Lyle Devereux Green had been Lorelai's pageant MC and general love interest for 25 years. She always said while he was just her lover, she'd be young. Marriage was work. Work caused stress. Stress caused wrinkles. Oh, wow, I gotta go to bed. I'm already here. Can you believe we're going home? And hey, maybe we could move into your daddy's place. Just been sitting empty since he died. Who said anything about moving home? I just wanted to make an honest woman out of you, you know. I don't need no piece of paper and some cubic zirconia ring you get out of some Vegas bendy machine to make me an honest woman. Well, no reason to make a big deal out of it. You're always making a big deal out about me being an honest woman. But why even having me around all this time? Get undressed, you'll find out. <laughs> 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 I'm about to go on the road to Paris, Texas, for the Miss Texas Tiara pageant. With me, Miss Texas gal 1969 Lorelai Daly. Tiffany was about to learn that the only star in a Lorelai Daly show was Lorelai Daly. Oh gosh, I like how can we Texas gal 2000? <laughs> hey, Tiffany, thank you. I mean, you know, before we start, I would like to begin with an inspirational quote. Neely turned slowly to your Okay, Corinne. Give me an honest answer. Just be yourself. Beauty queens, feminist warriors, or slaves to sequins? Uh, um, I like sequins. Okay, cut. Lyle, I said cut, sugar. Okay, Corinne, the answer is feminist warriors. Just... Lyle, could you please keep the camera steady? You're all shaky. Shaking my ass. You see, this is the intro. This is where we bring the audience into the story. We can't have you contradict what we're trying to say here with you saying things like, I like sequins. But I do. <laughs> you said be honest. I, I love sequins. They're pretty and they're shiny, especially when the light hits them. They're sort of like a pretty armor. So I guess that's what a feminist warrior would wear. <laughs> Good answer, baby. Good answer. Can't see anything. That's because the lens cap's on. Come on, you know, look at her, she looks so beautiful. But it's not about sequins. It's about strong, independent women. You know, leather skirts, breastplates. What do these words make you think of? Liz? Lyle? Hookers come to mind. This whole feminist movement thing just got way. It's true, but see what I'm going for here is imagery. Like Helen of Troy. Oh gosh, Tiffany, you know what? 
I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you know, you're not gonna find any imagery around here either. We're just um, hard working Americans. Hey, hey, what was that quote you came up the other day? Uh, beauty fades, but, but fabulous, fabulous is, is forever. forever. <laughs> you know, you wanna talk to Helen Troy, you know, you just go interview her. But you're doing a really good job, and I'm so proud of you. You know what, let's go from the top. And Corinne, you talk about the sequence all you want to. Everywhere. Okay, later, you. darling. Oh, and also, Tiffany, it's the, the title. The title's just all wrong. You know, it's gotta have a feel of like a, more like a beauty queen. And I was thinking maybe like race for the tiara. You know, oh, some oh, Olympic I feel like that. to That's it. You know, right. do you think? I love it, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm. Oh, Lyle, Lyle, look at her. She doesn't look like a little prison guard anymore. Oh, gosh, Lyle. What have I taught you? Beauty is a curse. A cross. Beauty's a cross. But thank the good Lord, only a few of us have to bear it. I'm going to keep my feet firmly on the ground and reach for the star! Yeah. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. I am sparkling. How are they going to see the real Corinne Daly if they don't see you smile? Huh? If okay. everyone go, 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 go. would wear a smile all day. I can wear something else. Okay. Shut it! It's not what you're wearing that's the problem! Well, of course it is. You know, honey, you don't have time to change anyway. You know what? I think we got a really good start here. All right, everybody, to the bus. On the yeah! bus! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Woo! hated pageants. She always said, now oh, Liz, why do you want to surround yourself with vain women, find another crowd to hang out with? Now I work in a prison. Okay, I want to do a documentary on Corinne, a piece. I'm calling it Feminist Warriors. A story. I knew it. You press are all alike. You are all sharks. No, look, Lorelai, you've got it all wrong. I mean, yes, it is true. It is about beauty queens. But I want to do something different. I think that it's time that America saw what we're really all about, what kind of a contribution we really make, that we are not all just tiaras and smiles. I mean, you'd be surprised. Pageants don't have a very good image. I mean, I think that it's time that we gave the old image a makeover. And yes, it will help my career. I, I, I'd be on television. <clears throat> what channel? I'm not sure. Maybe the Learning Channel? Oh, educational. I like that. So, this would be uh, like a kind of visual aid for young beauty queens. <laughs> Kinda. God, maybe I could actually get my book finally published. It's uh, Lorelai Daly's Beauty Secrets. I did the introduction. Um, I was thinking more along the lines of a story. We'll follow Corrine's progress. And Liz's as well. Look, Lorelai, I know that things were hard. We, we don't talk about that. But I really think that maybe... That's should... enough, young lady. <laughs> After three martinis, two Valium, and some spiritual guidance from Jackie Suzanne, it was pretty obvious that Miss Texas gal was going to go home. 
You don't have a camera in my face the whole way. And we don't talk about the thing. Fine. Hey. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. They want Miss Texas Gal 1969. They got her. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Careful what you wish for, I always say. <laughs> I'm already here. Can you believe we're going home? And maybe we could move into your daddy's place. Just been sitting empty since he died. Who said anything about moving home? I just wanted to make an honest woman. <laughs> Everything was going fine. We were finally on the road. My plan was working. But then Liz had to go and have her 300th breakdown that week over Barry. And Lorelai sure as hell didn't want to hear it the whole way to Texas. As I recall, someone was not very strong in general knowledge. Lyle, sugar, help me out here. General knowledge? Mm -hmm. What is the capital of Peru? Peru? Damn, I never had an inmate from Peru. I'll say Rio. Sounds pretty good to me. Someone has no time for pride. Not if she wants Barry to think she's the most beautiful girl in the world. He's gonna want to see you sparkle. You really think this is going to work? I guarantee it. I'm gonna make you my special project, okay? Okay. Okay, Missy, let's go. We're gonna do some reading. Chew book. Right oh. oh, honey. I was done. Are you gonna dim those things? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, Liz, this covers everything you are ever gonna need to know. Are you sure? Yes, because you're also gonna read it in German, French, Greek, and Italian. I don't know any of those languages. Exactly. You need to learn that beauty is a language of its own. It knows no barriers. That's why international pageants are so popular. Tiffany, what are you doing up there? Are you on some kind of armadillo hunt? Tiffany, I'm trying to do honor. Can we pull over? No, 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 no. We are not pulling over. We're making good time. How about letting old Lyle help you forget about Barry? I could show you some of those moves I learned down in Rio. Have you been to Rio? I have been to Rio. Oh, Lyle, the Rio Grande doesn't count. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Carnival. <laughs> Come on, dance with me. No, no, not now. Oh, no, 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 Take the wheel a second so that I can look. No one's really sure what happened, but it seems while Tiffany and Lorelai fought for control of the Lido, Liz's tears had unglued her false eyelash, which was now a cocktail garnish. And Lyle was about to do what Lorelai always said he was going to do drink himself to death. <laughs> knew that these hair pageants attracted a lot of girls with split ends and bad dye jobs hoping for free hair products. But that didn't mean I could relax. No, winning pageants always meant being aware of the competition. No one was going to win my car if I could help it. After all, Tiffany couldn't be trusted. And even Liz had been practicing with those batons just a little too much. Only, even the best laid plans can come unglued. 
Number 52, Wait. correct? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Liz, <laughs> I've um, lost my friend. <laughs> Looks like you got a new one. <laughs> I'm Stan Wallace. I'm one of the judges. Now, what is a pretty girl like you doing wandering around, drinking before a pageant? You know it's against the rules. Uh, please, do we have to tell anybody about this? Well, I think I'll be able to help you out if you're nice about it. And you didn't see anything? Well, come inside. We can talk about it. This may not look like the face of a seductress, but I decided that if I was going to make it in Hollywood, I'd need to learn how to handle men. Corinne! How about a real drink, honey? Um, I... need to powder my nose. <laughs> I get ready for the swimsuit section. Think of the tiara. Think of the tiara. Wait over here. Wait right over here. Get the hell away from my daughter! Your daughter? Hey, hold it, hold it! I know you! You're Lorelei Daly. Miss Texas gal. Remember? Wasn't that it? Corinne, get dressed. Get downstairs. Stop it! I'm not a child. You stop acting like one. I didn't raise you this way. All right. You two get out of here. I'm a lot of things. Turned him down. And so when Corinne won, I thought, well, you know, he's a decent person. You know, I thought I'd won a little victory. But he had plans. He told lies. Filthy, ugly lies that spread through the pageant circuit like a Texas Longhorn hate. Nobody to hire me to organize. They said I was unstable, that I was, you know, an unsuitable influence on young ladies, and that I was a, a bad mother. <laughs> and that is why we left Texas. You know, Lyles, so understanding. You know, he just told me not to. Listen to all the gossips. I don't know why he hung around. I, I used to tell him to get lost all the time. And he'd, he'd say, you know, hey, you'll never get rid of me. I'm like Christmas shopping. I'm tacky, expensive, and sometimes make you wish you were Jewish. And he'd say, hell, Lorelai, who, who else are you going to tango with? <laughs> Poor Lyle. He wasn't as stupid as everybody thought. <laughs> oh, Lord, that's what I look like. Oh, gosh. More like Miss Texas Ghoul, 1969. Oh, no. Not on my ship, Missy. Liz, give me some ice, Tiffany. Give me my makeup kit. <laughs> there. Look at you. I swear you are an angel. My very own angel, that's what you are. Oh, my heart may just burst with pride any second. <laughs> Bang, there it goes. <laughs> I love you so much, Mom. I swear I got your smile. Mm. Mm. <sighs> well, I wanted to marry me. Lorelai Green. I don't think so. <laughs> green, green. <laughs> don't let me. Oh. Oh, thank you. Oh. Maybe I could read you something. Who would you like to hear about? Neely? Uh. Anne? Or maybe mm. Helen Lawson? You read the book? I lived it, Lorelai. <laughs> <laughs> you can call me Mrs. Green. <laughs> All right, I want you all to get. You need some sleep. You got a big day tomorrow. I need some time alone. Now go on, get. Go on. Allons-y, allons-y. Out of here! Put 
God, I've given you a good life. Have you? You stole my life! You stole my life! Do you think they're still alive? God, I hope so. I don't want to bury anybody else. <laughs> Come on, let's go see. Yes, well, Miss Brenda Starr, Tiffany, tell them the real reason you're here. The real reason you came, hmm? Get a story on me? Yeah. Yeah, the real reason we left Texas. <laughs> the real scandal. I never slept with that judge. Never. I turned him down. And so when Corinne won, I thought, well, you know, he's a decent person. You know, I thought I'd won a little victory. But he had plans. He told lies. Filthy, ugly lies that spread through the pageant circuit like a Texas Longhorn in heat. Nobody would hire me to organize. They said I was unstable, that I was, you know, an unsuitable influence on young ladies, and that I was a... a so she transformed herself into a Lorelei Who lures all scholars, dudes and jocks To crash and burn upon those rocks And now it's only toys that share her bed Because her love has put an echo in her head But whether mistress to the devil Or a damsel in distress She's that crazy chick in a sequin mermaid dress She's that cuckoo chick She's that wigged out chick She's that crazy chick in a sequin mermaid dress You've got to climb Mount Everest to reach the Valley of the Dolls. It's a brutal climb to reach that peak, especially in heels. My mother, Lorelei Daly, had started her climb 30 years ago on this very stage when she was crowned Miss Texas Gal 1969. All right, gentlemen. Since then, she had become a self-appointed beauty expert. She could turn a sow's ear into a silk purse. All she needed were sequins, the right twirl, and a set of batons. I think y'all can identify with that. How about a Martian? <laughs> How about a Miss Texas 1906? <laughs> but even Lorelei had to admit that the Miss Texas Tierra Quest was not your ordinary beauty pageant. What else do you want to see me twirl? After all, the talent portion consisted of John Wayne movie quotes. Oh, don't make me open up a can of whoop ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> then again, as long as I could remember, nothing Lorelai had ever done was ordinary, including how we came to be back here in Paris, Texas. We had left Texas 10 years ago in the middle of the night in my mother's boyfriend Lyle's Winnebago. When asked why, all Lorelai would say is, Texas and Miss Texas Gal are just not meant to be. 
Then again, Lorelai was always quoting someone or saying things. Her favorite source of reference was Valley of the Dolls. Sparkle time. And she was always telling people that she intended to live her life as if she were a heroine in a Jackie Suzanne novel, dressed in sequins and consumed by tragedy. Well, she finally got her chance the day I found the letter. Sleeping Beauty! Hi, Mermit. My name's Corrine Daly. I was born in the summer of 76. My father's identity is a big secret. All Lorelai will say is he's famous and that we shouldn't bother him. Fred? I swear. Corrine Daly! You know, if there was a housekeeping category... It's... I've got fame Everybody in the world knows my name Oh yeah But I'm still looking for love I've got diamonds, I've got pearls I'm the envy of all the girls Oh yeah, uh -huh. But I'm still looking for love While Lorelai was looking for love, I'd gone looking for Lorelai, and I had unfortunately arrived in time to see my future, and it was drunk, wearing a sequin cowgirl outfit, and lip-syncing badly. Suddenly it was clear to me, we were more white trash than the Judds. It was definitely time for me to leave home. to cash there, guess you're buying. <laughs> I say martinis, what do you say? I say very dry, very chilled, and very fast, please. So, is this what I have to look forward to? No. This is uh, what I have to look forward to. You've got the whole world at your feet. You judging me? No. Because no matter what else I might think about you, Mama, you got way too much class for me to ever judge you.